In 2019, New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez declared that the world has go was going to end in 12 years. Unlike the crazy bearded man with the sign screaming on the street corner, people actually believed Ms. Cortez and other leftist doomsday soothsayers like John Kerry. This over-the-top approach to conservation and climate is designed to create a sense of panic and fear, which is most commonly used and most predictable tactic in the left's playbook. If you are worried about the environmental impact of making the screen that you are watching this on, then let me ask you a question. Is it less of an environmental impact to make that screen overseas? No, of course not. In fact, I would argue that we would do it better, safer, cleaner, and more efficiently, and we would also treat our employees better. The environmentalism sweeping the minds of Americans is merely a plot to steal your freedom and your American liberty forever. I believe in the sensible use and consideration of our environment. However, we have to realize that human beings have a right to live on this earth that God has given us. The resources of our soil, our animals, our minerals, and our natural gas are ours to use. Over conservation of the federal level actually harms the environment because federal bureaucrats and overzealous but clueless conservationists do not really know what the right steps are for a particular community. For instance, in Washington state, since grazing and logging on public lands was curtailed, we have seen a spike in forest fires. This is because grazing on public lands clears out the underbrush. In the pre-1800s, the Native Americans cleared out brush with controlled fire burns that reduced ground fuel. Banning these common sense and ancient practices in the name of conservation has actually caused more damage than good, as well-meaning leftists try to control what they do not understand. At the end of the day, our lands and its resources are meant to serve us humans, not the other way around. As congressman, I will legislate to return power to the states so that our resources can be used by people for the people.